Irwinsville is a quaint little town. Uh, it was an industrial community. The largest concentration of manufacturing in Clearfield County was really in the, in the heart of Kerwinsville. My father used to tell me, Holly, whenever I graduated from high school in the 70s, it wasn't a matter of where you gonna find a job. It was a matter of where do we wanna work? This town, uh, in the past, we had quite a bit of industry. There was a lot of uh, manufacturing jobs in our community, and the coal industry has died off considerably, and the manufacturing jobs have done so as well. Howes Leather, they were a tannery and closed their doors eight years ago. Job-wise, there was approximately 100 jobs that were lost just with the closing down of Howes Leather manufacturing operations. Everybody worked in the leather industry. When I was going to school, that, that's what we saw every day. Whenever I would look at Howe's Leather, I saw prosperity, I saw a future, I saw working, I saw things happening. Now these kids today, they see abandonment. They feel that we don't care about their future. The land has been neglected since the plant closure. It's literally located 100 feet from the entrance to this school. The only barrier separating a playground from this site is a fence and a roadway. There's several concrete foundations that are left exposed. There's exposed rebar. There's de-energized transformers that are laying throughout the facility. There's concrete high walls that are anywhere between eight and 12 feet in height. And there's several tanning pits that are left behind. What we're proposing from the Clearfield County Economic Development Corporation is to really refurbish this site and bring it back to a Department of Environmental Protection Act to environmental standards. This redevelopment would help the job situation in this community by cleaning this area up, making it attractive for industry to move in and employ people in this community and provide a future for our students. When I came here, the current kindergarten class, they're now seniors. I've watched them grow up and they graduate and I challenge them to be the ones that can come back and make a difference in their community, but they have to have the opportunity to do that. Not only are we doing this project for the kids right now to help them, reducing a hazard, reducing blight, enhancing the image of Kerwinsville for the young students, but upon graduation, we want to give them an opportunity to stay within the area, to raise a family, and to do business.